non di nuovo same 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 there we go eight pounds seriously hi i'm matt and this is not enough time I've played over the time with many solo devices. It's interesting to see how those devices develop and what's the evolution of the hardware itself. And today we're going to dim some light bulbs using a Sonoff D1 dimmer. Now what's interesting about this dimmer is first of all its module design. It's not only a design that I'll know outside that is module but also the design on the inside, the hardware itself that is module as well and this is something I'll talk about too. So if you have incandescent light bulbs or if you have a dimmable light bulbs you probably would be interested in dimming them and this is what the device is for. Unfortunately I do not have the remote or the base that comes with it but I'll be still able to dim a couple of light bulbs because it connects to the internet itself. Now this dimmer comes as a set with a couple of modules. So you have a dimmer module, you have a RM433 base and you have RM433 remote. Those meant to replace your light switch and you can use the remote when you're not nearby. So let's pair it, hook it up and see what light bulbs we can dim and what settings are available. The dimmer is connected. Now when you receive the device and plug it for the first time, this is how it should pulse and if it doesn't, just toggle it three times, just power it off and on three times to get it to this state. Now just go to your app, you will link up, quick pairing and you will, able, you will be able to pair it within a couple of moments. I don't expect any problems and the device was already on version 3.4 when I received it. So now the device is found, it's registering my dimmer and in a second I will be able to use it. So let's name it as Son of the Old. I've mentioned before that this device can be operated by RF signals, so if you have RF dimmer you should be able to link it. Now I do not have one, however we'll be able to test uh, this dimmer with different uh, bulbs I've got. So I'm waiting for the device to get back online after the pairing, it's probably just restarting and in a second I'll be able to play with it. So first thing you have to do is go to the settings and set the minimum dim dimming level. This is going to be very important if you're attempting to use all the bulbs because not all of the bulbs will be compatible with this dimmer. Now so in here you can see that I can set the minimum brightness uh, level for the dimming. So this is quite bright and obviously for incandescent bulbs I can set it quite low like this. So once the minimum set uh, setting for the brightness is set you can simply just exit it out and start uh, dimming the device. So this is the, the light bulb at full brightness right now and let's put it back to a minimum brightness again. As you can see from this bulb I get quite a bit of range. EWILINK app apart from dimming also supports toggling, schedules, timers and you can use some information to play with the light values. So let's try this with the LED light bulb. I've got just a simple Tesco LED light bulb and this is set as dimmable so it definitely should work with my setup. So let's take a look and see how much dimming we can get out of this light bulb. The LED is on so let's test it. So this is right now the minimum brightness that we had set with the incandescent light bulb and as you can see you can see the flickering and my estimate right now that the light bulb is in about 50% of the brightness, which isn't great. So let's play with the settings and see what we can do. Uh, you have to go to the device uh, uh, settings again and play with the darkness levels for the minimum brightness. So let's try to increase that. Okay, I think that level is just about where the bulb is no longer... Oh no, there is a tiny little bit of flicker, so let's increase it a little bit further. Okay, and now it's not flickering, so that's going to be my minimal uh, brightness level. So let's see how much more I can uh, dim it or increase the brightness. So with this light bulb, I get about 40% of the dimming range, which is slightly disappointing. 
So I guess the last thing that we can do is just disconnect it all and have a look inside. It's very easy to get inside the Sono D1, just uh, one screw and you'll be greeted with actually two PCBs joined together and to my surprise you could simply take them apart unlike with Sono Basic R3. So all you have to do is just pull them out and uh, you're gonna end up with the main module and the connectivity module. So simple. So the main module contains the 8 pin connector, it's in narrow pins, you have your pins there to connect it and some electronics to actually drive the dimmer itself. Now the module for connectivity contains ESP8285 and 8 different GPIO pins. There are two antennas, one for Wi-Fi and one for RF. And at the back everything is nicely labeled, so you've got your serial and you've got your SPI which is new and also the 8 pin uh, connector is well labeled so that's pretty easy to hack. As you could see the Son of D1 dimmer is a step further uh, in regards to the design of the hardware visible on R2 basic devices when the connectivity module was separate. At this moment there are no Tasmota versions designed specifically for the D1 device yet, however, I think you should be able to configure the Tasmota in such a way that would operate the dimmer correctly. Now with time we're probably going to see a Tasmota designed to work with this device and I'm looking forward uh, to try it out and uh, to write more about it. But for now I'm gonna put the device together, wait for my RF remotes and uh, post more once I receive it. Thanks so much for watching guys, I do not have a posting schedule so links for social media are the best way to follow me, pick your favorite uh, social media platform and follow me there to receive updates whenever I have an article, video or both. As for now guys, I'm gonna see you in the next video, take care, bye! This is exactly when you think of the going guys. <laughs>